Hi friends, good day and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at a very interesting concept in organic chemistry termed functional groups. So this functional group is a very interesting one because it is sometimes considered as the backbone of organic compounds. So let's quickly see the definition I have here on the board. Functional group is defined as a group of atom or atoms or bonds or bonds that gives characteristic properties to the compounds in which they are present. So this is a very important and interesting definition. Another interesting one I have here is that functional group can also be defined as a group in an organic compound that determines the chemical behavior or chemical reactivity of the compound. So in a nutshell, let me quickly summarize what I mean by this definition. I'm trying to say that functional group is that group or bonds that when they are present in an organic compound, they will make that organic compound to behave in a certain way. So meaning that if there is no functional group in an organic compound, organic compounds will not behave in a particular way they should behave. So whatever any organic compound you see that behave in a certain way, that behavior is, is, is because of the presence of the it is because of the presence of the functional group it has. So no wonder two organic compounds or two different organic compounds do not actually behave same. So whenever you see an organic compound A and another organic compound B, and they behave very much dissimilar, that dissimilarity in their behavior is as a result of difference in their functional group. The table I have here simply illustrates the classes of organic compounds, the general formulas of organic compounds. So the classes of organic compounds which I have here, the general formulas of organic compounds which I have here, the functional groups in question which I have here, and finally a good examples of organic compounds that be, that that falls into these functional groups we are talking about. Very, very important we understand that. So I, I have here on the board, I have the alkanes, the alkenes, the alkynes, the haloalkanes, the alcohols, the ethers, the aldehydes, the ketones, the carboxylic acids, the amines, the esters, the, the acid halides, and the uh, anhydrides. All right? So very quickly, all of this which I have here are their general formulas. And all of these which I have here are their, are their examples of such compounds. But in this video, I want to buttress, or maybe I want you to focus your attention on these functional groups which are these. So as for the alkanes, their functional groups are these. So whenever you see an organic compound uh, made up of single bond or two, that compound is most likely to be an alkane. Now, very important, let me point out something very, very quickly. The first group, this, this one, alkanes, alkene, and alkyne, these three organic compounds are regarded as hydrocarbons. So they are collectively called hydrocarbons. The reason is because they, 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 they are made up of hydrogen and carbon alone. No wonder hydrocarbons are those organic compounds that are made up of two elements, which in this case, carbon and hydrogen. So, so the, the, the alkene, alkene, and alkyne, they are collectively known as hydrocarbon because they do not contain any other atom or element aside from carbon and hydrogen. But as for the haloalkanes, they contain halogen. So this X here represents halogen, all right? And this R here represents alkene group. So because haloalkanes contain halogen, they are not considered, they are not considered as hydrocarbon. Very important. Again, this alcohol, it contains oxygen, hence it is not termed or considered as a hydrocarbon. This ether contains oxygen, very important. Aldehyde contains oxygen, ketone contains oxygen, carboxylic acid contains oxygen, amine contains nitrogen, esters contains oxygen, acid halide contains oxygen and halogen, and hydride contains oxygen. So, so all these compounds I have on the board here, it is only the first three that are generally regarded as hydrocarbons because they are made up of carbon and hydrogen alone. Every other ones aside these first three are not known or termed hydrocarbons. So students, ensure to take notes of what I have here on the board. Please take it, you can take a screenshot or you can get your writing materials and write down these things I have on the board. 
thank you all for watching my video to the end i pray that you subscribe like share and comment on my youtube page thank you see you next see you in the next video